This is the generator made of Legos and a few electrical parts. The electricity is generated using two magnets on the inside, a coil of wire, a very old hard drive. In fact, the magnets came from that same hard drive. Connect to the leads on this coil two LEDs, and the two LEDs are connected in opposite direction so that when the alternating current generated by the magnets in the coil changes direction, it toggles between which of the two are illuminated. Otherwise, you just see a pulse every so often. In this way, it almost looks like they're both on continuously. Over here, we have the crank, a nice long lever arm, so that we can have some torque force in turning the, the gears that are gear ratioed, so that with one turn around makes the magnet go all around several times. Significant magnification of rotation. All right, the first thing I'd like to do for you is generate some, some electricity. And then I'd like to take it apart and describe what all these pieces are. The largest portion of this is simply a stand. If I were to turn this here, you can see that we just took a bunch of Legos to make a stand. And I can take that off here. We needed a stand that was high enough so that this lever arm did not hit the table. If we get that out of the way, then we can see that we took a shovel handle or a broom handle, cut it off, and then glued two magnets to the handle. Then we took a drill and drilled a hole in it to, to mount some Legos. On the top, we have the coil from the hard drive. So here, and take this apart like so. And just so I don't forget how it goes back together, I'm going to assemble it at the same time. All right, so the top is off. These pieces of paper were used to center the coil. This little piece of tape here was used to make sure that the wires that were mounted here first didn't break off with a simple bump and second the magnets are very very powerful and they actually can make this this wiggle with their magnetic field it actually vibrates so this is the coil from the hard drive electricity through the coil could align the head with the hard drive discs we're using it to generate electricity instead of guiding a head because a generator and a motor are the exact same thing. The motor is driven by electricity and a generator is driven by force to make electricity. When the magnets, I'm just gonna turn it a little bit here, you can see those magnets moving through. When they cross past this coil, their magnetic field changes the magnetic field sensed by this coil. A changing magnetic field sensed by a wire in any direction, just a simple wire going across, feels that magnetic force and generates a current along it. If you coil a wire around, it magnifies for every loop. And you can see there are many, many loops here and so that's going to magnify the effect and then therefore give us enough voltage to run these two LEDs. This part here just covers up the gear ratio. And so I'm going to open up that. We have a shaft that connects to a, one of their larger gears. And then we have a smaller gear. The smallest gear, in fact, for Legos that I know of. Connected to another shaft. That is then connected to a large one again, so it steps from, from large to small, and then that small is converted to large by a shaft, and then we go to small again. So we get a double magnification. We go from, from large to small, and from large to small again. And so if I turn that, you can see that effect.
you can see that there is a shaft going through this wood and it isn't actually a shaft all the way through there's a little piece here and a little piece there that we connected taking it further apart and the reason I'm taking this apart is for students if you if they like to make such a science project they could use this as a guide if they liked so here is the magnet chassis and I stuck this in with the pliers I don't know if I can pull it out uh, I can't pull it out with my hand so there's there's a hole drilled right in the center as best I could on both sides and then I stuck a very small piece in there and a very long one on this side and if you if you look here um, it is a little lopsided someone else does a better job wouldn't have as much resistance when they're turning it for me once it gets going it turns pretty well and if you heard the the vibration of it uh, it's because it's not perfectly centered it's, it's centered it's just not perfectly straight in I don't have a drill press and I just guessed where to put that two magnets on a handle of a of a broom they're just glued on with some industrial level glue that you can get at any home store or such and now we can take a look at these gears again you can see that this gear shaft is no longer presented with its little gear in there and it's significantly easier to turn because there's no load on it especially a load with a bent axle and we are taking a large wheel from the expert sets we take two uh, mounting rivets have to make sure it's on the center I only made it sure it's on the center so that as it turns around here I brought back this elevator as it turned around I was guaranteed that if it cleared on the bottom my hand would clear on the bottom as well so the only you don't have to center it I chose to center it for that reason bottom bracket off take off these parts now there's that little gear just just fell out from from the magnets there's the little gear from that and it was being held in place by this spacing lego so here we have a shaft holding both the small and the large gear and then we are turning it so here as we turn this small gear it makes the larger gear move and you can see that those are just connected like that if I put the the generator back in and you can see the gear ratios in play again here all right so if I pull this back I gotta hold this very heavy so I don't know if that's gonna work out yeah it's not working I can turn it the other direction for certain I have to hold this up it's very heavy putting a lot of force on the Legos so if I do it this way you can see the opposite effect I have to turn this many times to get the other one to turn a little bit that's a better way for me to demonstrate it because I can then hold the the system all right there you have it that's how you can build a generator out of Legos the Legos are primarily just the, the gears and the mount of something that's not Legos so you're com combining Legos and non Legos there you can see the magnet is is gripping when a magnet passes through a loop of or coil of wire it induces a current the current is induced one way and then the other and illuminating the LEDs and now I have a big mess to clean up hope you enjoy the video and have fun with your science project